morning all hope you guys are able to hear me right please confirm sir are you able to see the screen as well right yes sir okay cool so here the most of the people are joined newly to the automation course they haven't listened to the manual classes right so we let me know what is going to be teaching the further classes and uh, and how the people can uh, learn the manual as well those who are not yet joined okay so let me open a notepad everyone is comfortable with telugu right may i proceed with the telugu or is anyone want me to explain in english everyone is flexible with telugu right yes okay good cool. only english please okay no worries vd i will proceed in english okay so here actually the course is com uh, consist manual plus automation manual plus automation classes and manual is already completed what i discussed in the manual testing is all theoretical parts all yes, theoretical sir. parts where you got questions from Yes, someone is asking something. Yeah, can you please maximize the screen? It is looking oh, small. Cool. Are you able to see now? Thank you. Yes, thank you. Cool. So in manual, I already completed all the theoretical parts where you got uh, many interview questions from the theoretical parts. So and after that, I have explained how to write the test cases practical explanation, and we have seen few tools. which is called as a test trial where we can write the test cases and later i have explained the task management tool where that every software employee use that application whether it is the developer whether it is the tester whether it is a uh, devops engineer H, uh, hr whoever it is whoever it is technical or non technical person the person should use tool which is called task management tool jira okay so after that i have explained some software development life cycle models where the people are using agile model now all these theoretical parts is completed by the end of the course yesterday itself i explained you one project which is named as orange hrm orange hrm okay it's a hr management platform where once you are into the software company the hr will manage your data in that platform where you guys can see all your data in it okay these are the topics i covered and after that i have shared an interview questions material where it consists 100 interview questions for the manual question and answers and apart from that i have provided few documents of all these theoretical and practical explanations and tools where i covered and apart from that i have given the test cases examples for the few objects as well right a test scenarios for the calculator right test scenarios for the bike like i have given the few scenarios right so we are done with the manual course by the yesterday today i am going to explain what is meant by automation what is meant by automation and how to start preparing the automation courses automation classes okay so we are going to see all those things today so the people who joined only for automation they can continue the classes from today the people who joined today itself to listen the demo to listen both manual and automation you guys can continue the automation classes once this batch is completed uh, next batch is going to be started right in that batch you can learn the manual course okay so both are independent it's not a mandatory to learn manual first to learn the automation it is not a mandatory okay automation and manual both are independent both are independent if you want to learn only automation course you can proceed the classes from today till completion of the course and if you want to learn both manual and automation please uh, listen the automation classes in this batch and you you have flexibility to listen the manual classes in the next batch am i clear for the new students who join today
please confirm the people who joined today joshna vd ganesh yeah clear first is clear first anusha neelima nagendra shravan if you are uh, fear to give an a reply please type a message in the chat by that i know the people are clear will continue proceed okay good everyone is clear right okay fine so today let's see a few things about the automation from tomorrow onwards we can start the actual classes of the automation okay today just see what is meant by automation why we are using and what is the use of automation and all those things we are going to see okay as you are few students are new to the class today they should know what is meant by testing first the people who already uh, listen the manual classes they know what is meant by testing but the people who joined only today they should be clear about the what is meant by testing right can anyone tell a generic meaning of the testing what is meant by testing why we are calling the testing any definition in your real time in our daily lives we are doing uh, so many testing can anyone explain at least one no one the people who joined in the manual goes are so not speaking either it is correct or not please respond guys if you are habituated to give the answers then it would be easy to answer at the time of interviews if you are freezing like this it's not it's not possible to give a proper interview at the time of interviews please be open to give an answers whether it is a correct or wrong it is secondary what is meant by testing to deliver a quality product testing is a process of identifying the errors or bug in the software good and the testing is uh, performed to provide the quality of the product correct good to our proper answers any more answers okay fine so i will give an example so for example uh, you people went went to market to buy a vegetables right so you people went to market to buy a vegetables while buying a vegetables you people blindly can't take vegetables right you will you guys will check whether that uh, vegetable is good or not right so whenever you are taking some brinjal you are going to check whether the brinjal is good or not if that is good then only you pick up into the basket if it is not good you can ignore there right so what you are doing there you are doing testing there you are doing testing there what you are expecting you are expecting the good a uh, brinjal which is not damaged that is your expectation okay while you are checking if that brinjal has uh, a damage you are expecting without damage but that brinjal is damaged both are different then the test case is going to be failed you are expecting undamaged brinjal right there you found a good brinjal both are matching expected and actual both are matching then you are going to call it as the test case is going to be passed okay that is one more example and second example is if you want to buy a car you went to the showroom and you asked that person to give a test ride on it right you are expecting some quality on that car okay while running if you found that it matching your expectation then it is going to be passed and you bought a car you will bought a car but if it's not reaching your expectation you will not buy that car you will uh, uh, go for another model or another company right so this is called as a testing what you understand by these two examples to provide the quality product to the customer we are performing the testing and how can we provide the quality product to the customer 
by identifying the bugs or errors okay if you see that um, neelima and suchirita answers if you combine both together you will get a proper answer okay testing is performed to provide the quality product to the customer where we can identify the errors or bugs in that product or software that is quality as a testing that is quality as a testing are you guys clear about what is meant by testing now so oh good so let's see the automation for example you people have to write the test cases for login page you people have to write the test cases for login page how many test cases are there for the login page total by roughly we can take the four test cases we have many cases for the login as well totally roughly i am taking the four cases what are those four cases can anyone valid username and invalid password that is first test case and second test case is invalid username and invalid password that is second test case and what is third test case valid username and invalid password that is third test case and fourth test case is invalid username and valid password what you are understanding by this whenever you are giving the credentials in that login page you can check these four things first it's nothing but first you should give valid and valid password and second you can give in second scenario second possibility invalid and invalid password and third scenario valid username and invalid password and fourth scenario invalid username and valid password okay these are the four test cases we people have to execute we people have to execute so how let's assume that how much time it's taken if you execute manually and if you execute with the automation scripts okay so what you people has to do is in manual you have to run this test pack okay let's assume this is a test pack where it consists the four test cases above four test cases okay management told me to run this test pack 20 times is nothing but 20 into 4 how many test cases how many test cases 80 80 right so here to execute the four test cases manually it take 5 minutes for example it take 5 minutes total to execute 20 min 20 times how many minutes it will take 100 minutes is it or not yes no so so it in that 100 minutes means 1 hour 40 One hour forty minutes, right? So similarly, if you do the automation, okay, test pack, four test cases, and to write a script, automation is nothing but to write the script to write the instructions to the system. we are going to give the instructions to the system to run this script to do particular task we are going to write some script in the whether it is the selenium tool or in the cypress whatever it is the tool we are using one programming language whether it is java or python and we are going to write a script okay, to write that script it take almost 30 minutes for me okay 30 minutes for me but to run a single time to run a single time it was done in the 2 minutes it was done in the 2 minutes to run this four test cases in single time to run this four test cases single time how much time it takes 2 minutes for 20 times how much time it takes 
பட் ட்வெண்ட்டி டைம்ஸ் ஹவு மச் டைம் இட்ஸ் டேக் ஃபார் சிங்கிள் இயர் ட்வெண்ட் இயர் டு ரன் திஸ் ஃபோர் டெஸ்ட் கேசஸ் ஒன் டைம் இட்ஸ் டேக் டூ மினிட்ஸ் டு ரன் ட்வெண்ட்டி டைம்ஸ் ஹவு மெனி மினிட்ஸ் இட் வில் டேக் Forty minutes. Forty minutes, right? So, uh, what is the total time now to complete these twenty times? Can anyone? Total time. How much time it takes? One hour. To run twenty minutes. times in the automation. Please respond. One out in minutes. Yes, seventy minutes. It's nothing but one hour, ten minutes. Which is faster, manual and automation? Manual or automation? Which is faster to complete? Automation. Automation. now it is only for 20 times but if you take more test cases for example if you take 40 test cases here let us assume this is a 40 test cases here 40 test cases means almost it take for single time it takes at least 25 minutes at least 25 minutes it take a single run is nothing but total how much time it takes 500 minutes 500 minutes almost it takes 8 hours okay nearly it takes 8 hours to run to complete a run okay but if you do that automation to write its 40 test cases let's assume that it take 2 hours let's assume that to write the scripts for this 40 test cases it take 2 hours to complete a single run to complete a single run it take 6 to 7 minutes hardly if you take more it will take only 10 minutes okay 20 into 10 minutes if you want to run the 20 times then how much time it takes 20 into 10 200 minutes right so total how much 200 minutes plus 2 hours here 120 plus 200 how many minutes 320 minutes how much time you are saving here as compare with this here 500 minutes here nearly 300 you are going to complete half you are going to save half of the time is it or not yes sir that's the reason why we are using automation hope you guys clear now why we are using the automation yes sir any more doubt anyone of you everyone is clear right okay let's take one uh, i will show the syllabus as well so before going to execute one script we'll show the syllabus and the documents what i'm going to share okay so please see the uh, screen you guys are able to see the screen right yes sir okay cool so this is the automation folder where you can find some jar files where you need to practice and you can download directly from the chrome as well i will to, i will tell you in the course how to download the things okay or else you can take it directly from here as well and these are the documents where you can see subfolders in it first one is bonus materials class notes course course what we are going to practice and interview questions mostly asked must practice before going to the interview and these are the syllabus coming to the syllabus let me open in the syllabus you can see 
this is the automation syllabus first we can see the selenium introduction okay there you can see trying topics to be covered and all now i am explaining tomorrow onwards we are going to see from here okay because in the today class i am going to explain what are the topics to be covered and additional benefits what you are getting after training okay what you are uh, uh, additional benefits you are getting from this training also these two topics to be covered in the today session okay selenium introduction selenium configurations and installation in your laptop and web locators very very important how much the heart is important for the human this web locators is more than that in the automation course without this you can't do the automation next one as we are using the java language to writing the scripts you people have to learn the java concepts a complete concepts which is required for the scripting is going to be teach here you guys can see all the topics and you will get the interview questions from the java as well when you guys are applying for they will ask please explain the oops concepts that is a first and foremost question you will get it after that we are going to see some handling frames capturing screenshot these are the some of the important automation concepts and later we can see some uh, framework in this course you guys are going to learn total two frameworks test ng and second one is cucumber okay these are the two frameworks we are going to see and one build tool you guys are going to learn that is called jamavin and next we can see the framework concepts next you guys can see the framework concepts okay that test ng and cucumber is framework examples these framework concepts is nothing but types of frameworks types of frameworks is nothing but the examples inside the frameworks are different okay we are going to see both okay this is the one more framework we deal with cucumber by this we are going to end the automation classes what are the benefits is nothing but we are going to the mostly asked interview questions i prepared a document where you will get 600 interview questions okay if you prepare all these 600 interview questions almost 80 to 85 percent questions will be answered in the interview i am not sure that 100 percent you will answer it will be based on the technology what they are looking so 80 to 85 percent of the questions will be answer you guys will answer in the interviews if you prepare all the 600 interview questions which are given in the document okay so and we'll provide the recording sessions every day okay by the evod so after sharing the recording sessions you guys have to download within the 48 or uh, 56 hours otherwise the link is going to be expired and you guys are not able to see the recording okay whenever we are sharing the recording through your mails or whatsapp groups you people have to download it and store it in your local for the further reference okay these are the syllabus and next to document is must practice before going to the interview okay uh, whenever for example tomorrow or before, uh, day after tomorrow you have an interview on the automation you guys should practice the java programs which is required for because selenium is nothing but they only ask the selenium they will ask some okay they will ask some java programs as well okay for example the person asked you to write a uh, uh, java program for am strong number you should not be blind at that time right so for that purpose i prepared few programs just go through this document and prepare it once the java concepts is done and these are the selenium scripts once we are done with the selenium concepts it's your responsibility to go through these scripts and practice it okay i will provide all the inputs after completion of the courses for example if the selenium scripts concepts is done then i will share this document to you you guys have to prepare it i will share the individual documents okay uh meanwhile while course is going on but after completion of the course i will give an access to the drive link okay so in the drive link you can see all these documents again but Meanwhile, if you want to practice, I will share the single single documents in your WhatsApp groups. Okay, but don't worry that single single document is the mess up, mess up will be happen. So don't worry because the end of the course, I'm going to share these documents again by storing these documents in the drive link in my mail. Okay. Our next document is interview questions mostly asked. Just now I said, right? Total 600 interview questions. I have already prepared it. So here you can see if you prepare all these 600 interview questions make sure that you people you people will answer 80 to 85 percent of questions okay so when these questions will be easy to you if you listen the classes properly these questions will be very easy to you because these questions will cover all the concepts what i what i am teaching in the class okay these questions all will cover 
in what I'm teaching in the class. Here you can see this question also very important. If you are one year or two year or else fresher, you will ask what is CISO method. You people have to explain what is CISO. CISO means system dot out dot printer. What is system? What is out? What is printer? You have to explain. If you know the concept, then you guys can easily explain. No need to by heart it. Okay. CISO means system dot out dot printer. If you prepare like that, then you guys can be very easy. Okay. If possible, you can take the printout and you put it in your offline purpose as well. Okay, this is hardly having uh, two twelve pages is nothing but by two hundred pages. This document is there. If you are able to afford to take the printouts for the offline copy, you can take it and save it in your offline purpose as well. Very 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 important document. Okay, don't share with outside people. Please use yourself and make enjoy this. Okay. And next document is. Course, course. What we practiced in the class, we are going to see in this projects folders. Okay, we are going to practice all these things in the Eclipse, Eclipse tool. And next one is class notes. These are the class notes. I am going to explain the total automation course in the 30 classes. 30 classes is nothing but 30 by 2, 15 session. Each session will be going to explain in the two classes. Okay, here you can see total 15 sessions will be there. 30 classes will be there. 30 classes by 2 is equal to sessions. 15 sessions. Each session will consist 2 classes. Okay. Again, I have divided the sessions into the 3 documents. This is the first, uh, first session to 5th session. is nothing but class number 1 to 10. I have shared this document. Okay. The documents are very clear. These are the topics we are going to learn in the class 1. And the concepts is going to be explained. Coming to the class two also same. These are the topics we are going to learn. These are the topics we are going to learn and we are going to see those topics. Okay. The documents are very clear and it looks easy to access it. Okay. These are some additional documents need to share with you initially when you are configuring your laptops and the cheat sheets for Git Cucumber Selenium. Very, very important. Here. So I hope you guys know what is the importance of cheat sheet is nothing but today 10 o'clock we have an interview. It's not possible to recall all the documents which consist 200 and 300 pages, right? So for that purpose, we are preparing the cheat sheets where you get the important things. For example, if you take this core Java cheat sheet, by seeing a single document, you should know what is meant by Java. It hardly have one or two pages. By seeing these two, three pages, you people have to know what is Java, what is operators, what is branching statements, what are exceptions. By seeing this document, you can easily left okay and we are not going to teach git jenkins and sql in this course but as per the students request i am sharing the materials where i prepared in neat manner here you can see this is git sheet sheet is nothing but simply by seeing this sheet you can understand what is git okay, it was very easy for example if you uh, uh, what is meant by git status what it means Git status means nothing but what are the files modified that are going to be showing the git status that are going to show in the git status. Okay, it's very important. Git is very, very important for the automation. Okay, if time permits, we'll explain the cheat sheets as well. Git will plan a session for it as well. So very, very important. So these are the documents mostly we are going to see in the class. Any more doubts so far? If you are open to talk, then only you will get a clarification on the course. If you are simply sitting idle, no use of joining in the class. What I explained now okay. so far. Yes. Who is this? You can ask. Yeah, it's clear also. Okay, cool. And okay, cool guys. Uh, this is for the day. So I'm going to show uh, run the script in the tomorrow session. This is all about the automation. Okay.
very very important i am telling again in automation we are going to learn what tool we are going to learn and what framework we are going to learn in what language we are going to learn this is very important before going to joining the course you should know what tool you are using and what project we are practicing or in hrm we are going to practice automate this application in the selenium okay tool is selenium framework is we are using two frameworks one is test ng and another one is cucumber bd language is java project is orange hrm and next one is build tool build tool is mavin that's we are going to learn yes editor editor is eclipse these are the major things what you guys are going to learn okay you should be clear about the stack skills what you are going to learn then only you will get a clarity to be learned now okay so i uh, hope you guys are clear i'm sharing this content in this chat box if you want to copy paste it okay if you want to recall this notes you can practice uh, you can copy this text and uh, paste it in your local mission any more doubts uh, sir i just want to note that yes yes uh, the performance testing uh, which also is a part of the automation testing yes performance testing uh, is completely different uh, vd what is your name varun 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 okay here let me explain one point about this performance testing is completely different okay for performance different performance testing we are going to use some tools like in manual testing where we are using test trial and jira like test test management and task management tool right in similar way we are uh, uh, making the performance so, testing with a few tools like jmeter or load runner load runner it is completely different concept performance testing is completely different concept uh, in the performance testing they are using the jmeter and load runner once this functional testing is done then only this application will went to the performance testing okay once the people are going to test the functionality of that application and after that they guys are going to check the performance testing on the metrics like stress stability they are going to check it they are going to check it it's not a difficult task performance testing you should be good and clear about the functionality testing you guys can easily learn by videos in youtube as well performance testing how to uh, install the jmeter in my lap how to log into it how to create the threads in it okay it is very easy for example there is an application which is named as x company okay in that x company you are the only person log in now only one person is log in now okay so what that application how that application uh, uh, behaves if 10000 people log in at a same time okay so what you people has to do is in the jmeter or load runner you people have to create the threads okay one person is equal to the one thread so you have to create the 10000 threads and you have to run all 10000 threads at a time by that you know how that application is behaving if you run 10 threads at a time is nothing but 10 10000 people are using the application at same time you may see this performance issues is the more people are accessing this okay for example um, what i can say we all are done with our 10th class and intermediate right whenever we are checking the 10th class results the application will be crashed to check while we are checking the results why because all the people are checking at same time 
that application is not able to behave like to give the output to as per the input. Are you guys getting what I'm telling? Okay. Yes. Okay. This is called performance testing. First, learn the functional testing. The performance testing is very easy to go on it. It's not an issue. The opportunities are there more for functionality testing goal as compared with performance testing. Because performance testing, hardly two to three people will be there for the project. But functionality testing, almost eight to 12 people will be there. So where the more possibility is there, there you got the more opportunity. Right? Any more doubts? Uh, last question, sir. Uh, uh, for this uh, automation uh, syllabus, uh, that API testing is a part of automation or manual? Uh, uh, project? No, API testing will not be there. This is course is about the functional testing. API testing is completely different. You people have to learn the Postman tool or Swagger tool. We are having the different tools. Th those are the tool based, not a scripted ones. Okay, those are REST API, REST assured frameworks. Okay, those are different frameworks. Okay, VD. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Any more doubts, guys? Sucharita, Joshna, VD, Ganesh, Abhilash, Venkatesh, Divya, Deepthi, Nilima, Nagendra, Shavani, Spati. Any more? No, you guys. Sir. Are you guys clear? Yeah. And are you guys all interested to join? How many of you are interested to continue the further classes? Please ping in the chat box. No need to tell directly if you are feeling uh, uh, fear. Fee for the course, you can ask your institutes. I am not in the part of those uh, discussing about the fees. Okay. You can ask your. Uh, Institute people, they will let it you know about the fee structure about it. Only two members are interested to continue. I think Sucharita and Venkatesh, though these two people is already part of the course. Divya Shri, Divya Shri is also already part of the course. And what are the other people? Are you people who are interested to join? Are you no, guys sir, are can I and... ask you one more question? Sorry. Yes, yes. Uh, really, it's it's related to the project. Uh, so if uh, uh, if we can, uh, if I want to get some uh, project based knowledge on uh, financial related or yeah, insurance related projects, then uh, it is possible. No, because it's not possible to uh, explain each person a single type of project, right? So that's the reason why we are taking a uh, normalized one. Okay, we just taken that HR management platform that will helpful to you people all to understand very easily as an initial project, right? If I explain that financial project, banking project, those are a bit difficult as you are the initialized person, as you are the new people, you can't understand initially. That's the reason I have taken the easy category that is called HR management and I'm going to teach other. Financial or banking and financial uh, banking or else HR management management, gaming, whatever it is, everything, the, the fields are same, the uh, thing, the way what we are approaching are same, the difference is there on the uh, modules, what's present in it, that's it. Okay, VD? Yes, sir. thank you. Okay, cool. If you guys are interested, please reach out to your institute peoples, they will help out you how to join, how to roll out and uh, your institutes will provide the certificates as well course completion certificates you can ask your institutes as well so you will get a clear information about all those things you can ask your institute and you will get a clear information okay hope tomorrow onwards the classes is going to be started if you have any doubts please reach out me uh, in the whatsapp groups which is already created by your uh, institutes if you already joined in the course if you are not joined please uh, contact your institute and join in the whatsapp groups and we'll help out you if you have any doubts and the opening is also good now. I already shared some resumes for the people who already joined in the course. Please make yourself to prepare your resumes properly and apply for the jobs. We can't uh, say that the openings will be available every time. Okay. So whenever the openings are available, you will have to concentrate and apply for the job. It would be great to you. 
ओके मैं क्लोज द सेशन स्टिल यू गैस हैव एनी डाउट If no doubts, we'll close the session for the day. Nagendra, do you have any doubt? I think you raised there. No, 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 sir. Okay. I'm I'm going to continue the classes. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay, then I'm closing the session for the day. Hope you guys are clear. If any more doubts, please let me know. We'll explain it. Okay. Okay, cool.